In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be showing you a route combo that you can utilize that absolutely gives me fits in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Now if you've been around Madden for a while, you know that uh, I upload four videos a day here every single day that give you tips and tactics and today we're going to do a little bit of an advanced tactic, uh, just a simple route combination that I think is very effective and I think TNC probably came up with this, I'm not exactly sure, but I ran across this uh, against my opponent Skyrider last night and I went into the lab in a practice mode and thought this was just an incredible route combination, I had to share it with you. Um, and so it comes from the gun trips tight end and I honestly don't even know if this is the route combination, I was actually experiencing some of it against Putty in the game prior to that. But we're going to talk about this because I think it's just a very effective uh, concept and something that you need to think about as you're playing. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, like I said, we upload four videos a day with tips and strategies like this one. And we're going to talk about how you can basically, I don't know if it's a, I wouldn't say glitch out, but how you can deal really well with the uh, meta coverages that a lot of people are running, primarily the curl flat coverage um, that a lot of people are running. So I want to show you. I want to show you this. Um, this is kind of a standard uh, coaching adjustment set right here. Uh, zone drops are set to 20 yards. Flat drops are set to 5 yards. Now, if you enjoy the video, I would highly encourage you to subscribe. There's a link at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen that um, you can do that with. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to run our big nickel over G, and we're going to run just a standard cover three, whether it be cover three match, cover three, it doesn't really matter. We just want to get the purple zones on the field. So we're going to run cover three. Now this is a coverage that you're going to, I mean, you, I run this a lot. A lot of people run this a lot. It's a really effective coverage. Um, and we're going to be talking a little bit about our coverage, um, or I'm sorry, our big nickel over G defense in our text message membership this week. So if you want to shoot me a text and sign up for that, it's completely free. You can get that whole, um, that whole video, which will probably be a little bit longer in form. Now the play we're going to be using, we're in the we're in the Patriots playbook. You don't have to use any specific play if you have a hot route master. However, if you only have a tight end apprentice, you want to use the play Pat's Y in, or you want to use the play inside cross. Either one of those two plays will be fine. I personally really like the blue route from Pat's Y in to the running back, so I'm going to run that, um, and I'm going to leave this running back on the route. Now I'm going to make basically three major adjustments. The first one is I'm going to take the left side um, inside slot um, inside slot and I'm gonna put him on a hitch route and I'm going to take the left side slot and put him on a smart routed hitch route if you can't put him on a smart routed hitch route you could put him on a curl if you're like in second and two or whatever and then the tight end I'm just gonna put him on a crossing route and what first and foremost I just want you to watch this how it, how it attacks cover three um, and how it allows you to be very, very consistent at working the ball to field. So at snap the ball, what you're going to see is this crossing route to Rob is going to come, uh, is going to come wide open. And I'm sorry, I think I got my hitches backed up here. Let's let's try putting the left side slot, outside slot on a, on a um, little five yard hitch, and we'll put the inside slot on a ten yard hitch. We'll see if that changes anything. It will. It probably will change something. We'll see here. But you see how you can hit this hitch right here. Now that's not the only thing I want to show you. I want to show you how. What basically happens is with the with the if you smart route that left side outside hitch, this crossing route to Gronk, if you wait on it a little bit, it's gonna get that outside leverage and you're still gonna be able to complete it. Even though I have my curl flats drop back at 25 yard or 20 yards, the post route <coughs> um, in combination <coughs> excuse me. Um, the post route in combination with the with the hitch um, is going to do a really really good job of pulling this curl flat zone and keeping him into the middle of the field So he really can't get out there and make a play on that and I'll tell you what Skyrider was able to complete that on me all game long Now I want to show you another popular way to run this basic coverage defense uh, From here and basically all all it is is to take your inside guys and put them on hard flats and basically use the middle of the field so you're only gonna rush two but you're going to have pretty decent coverage against most people. Uh, you will have really, really good coverage with this. So we set up our little hitch combinations. And what you'll see on this little flood is, number one, we already have the hitches. But look at how look at how Gronk basically opens up. Now, there he was a little bit more covered. But what you're finding, and, and this is why I would recommend running this on the right hash. I wouldn't recommend running it on the left hash. So when you're on the right hash mark, run it to this way if you're on the other set other side of the field I would flip the formation or flip the play but what you'll see with this and we'll just set it up 
just a simple max coverage defense. Um, but if you'll watch that purple zone, will basically, you know, he's gonna sit, and we can basically fit this into Gronk. As you see here, we can underneath it, uh, get it, get it underneath that that cloud flat, or I'm sorry, that that curl flat zone. So this is a route combination that can really be effective to you because one of the other things that your opponent will do um, from time to time is they'll mix in some man coverage. So they may do something like this right here. And they may basically, um, you know, do something along the lines of, you know, maybe taking this outside guy, putting him in a curl flat, and then taking that outside guy, manning him with a little, you know, they're going to have to make, the cool part about trips tight end, in my opinion, is base align does not do that great against it. You really do need to be man aligned to really, you know, give yourself a, a decent chance to stop it. But what you'll see here is a lot of times user, um, you know, user this, and they may put somebody on the running back like this. This is kind of a general, you know, coverage defense. And I just want to show you what's going to happen uh, on this play. So first and foremost, your hitches should be open for a low ball. And this is shaded coverage up over top. But if you have a fast wide receiver, you see here, it's a wide open uh, one play touchdown against that meta man-to-man -man coverage. So, you know, this really does a number on purple zones. And I wanted to share it with you. This is a very simple route combination, but I think it's a very effective route combination. Now, I wanted to show you one other trick, um, one other trick of the trade here. And it's primarily, um, and what it's really going to force you to have to think about doing is basically running cover two on that side of the field. So we're going to go to put our curl, we're going to basically flip it. And now we're going to put our curl flats in five yards, and we're going to put our cloud flats at 20 yards. And what you're going to see here at a trips tight end from Pat's Y in uh, with that crossing route there, and then these two hitches, you'll see that if I shade down and shade up to create cloud flats, you're gonna see that um, it's it's going to do a little bit better of a job against the crossing route because the the zone itself, a curl flat versus a cloud flat, is a little bit different. Um, we'll, sh we'll just back off the dogs a little bit just to show you the route combination here. But what you'll see here, again, hitch. So these are your route combinations, snap of the ball. And what you'll see is Gronk comes over, and I can still kind of fit it in, but not as good. So Cloud Flats, to me, uh, might be the way to go over the Curl Flats, and using the Curl Flats as an underneath. And I know that might open up some other things. Uh, on this play, it certainly does, uh, which you'll see here in just a second. Uh, when I go to that kind of coverage, then I'm still able to check down to these hitches. The, the hitches serve as a simple check down read that are going to consistently get you you know three to four to five yards what's really nice about this running back route i think is it is gonna be a nice check down as well especially if they're running a lot of different um a lot of different zone drops on you and then one of the th the only coverage that i could do that really helped with this was this specific coverage was basically running cover two and then doing maybe something like you know, basically something like this right here and essentially taking the middle of the field away on my own. But you'll see right here, if we set this up and get that crossing right out there, you have, you know, put yourself in a, a, a dangerous position and you see how that crossing route gets above it. You see how the see how the curl route holds it or the hitches hold it? That to me is so significant in how um, how the trips tight end works as an offense. And so uh, we're going to be labbing up some solid defense today from the for the bunch and for the trips tight end, primarily probably out of the big nickel over G. So if you want to get access to that video, just text me. That video will go out to our text message members. So if you want to learn how to stop this play, just text me uh, and we can get that answered for you in this week's text membership update video. Typically, our text message members receive a video every single Monday. Today we're doing it on Tuesday because I've been a little bit sick. Um, but it, it comes with a full um, update of some kind of thing, whether it be how to stop this specific route combination, which was giving me trouble, how to stop different things in the game that, you know, is just tough to stop. So if you want to get access to that, I would highly encourage you just to shoot me a text. Literally, all you have to do to join it is text me. My number is 812-216-3644, and it is my personal cell phone number. 
Remember, we upload four videos a day here on YouTube, so we've got more videos coming today on the channel, so be sure to check back soon. We have more videos um, that are in the top of the uh, chat there. If you have a specific question about Madden and you would like me to do a video for you to answer your question, just text me. Uh, my number, like I said, is 812-216-3644. We will be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So I'd love to connect with you guys there. Other than that, guys, be sure to join the Discord. That's where we can talk Madden 24-7. We've got a lot of great members in the Discord. Uh, Skyrider's in there. You can actually check out his offense that way. Um, and then there's some other great players as well. So I want to thank you for your time today. And I hope this route combination you know, showed you just a little bit of a, a glimpse into some of the high-level route combinations that are being developed by some of the best players in Madden right now. And I'm pretty sure this came from TNC, but not 100% sure. But those guys are kind of the father, founding fathers of the trips tied in, the U trips, and the split close formations. Uh, so they do a great job over there. So anyways, thanks for your time, guys. And we will see you in our next video coming in a few short hours.